Hello YouTube, what is up and welcome back to tutorial number 13. So in the last tutorial I showed you guys how to use an external style sheet to style your web page. So if you guys don't know why I'm typing all of this code in a new document with no HTML underneath, then you need to go back and watch the previous tutorial and then you'll understand why I'm doing this. And if you've already seen the previous tutorial then you're good to go. So I'm just gonna carry on from where I left off in the previous tutorial and uh, the code is exactly the same where we've just got one paragraph in our body and then we've styled that paragraph with the color property and we've changed the color to red and we've used the font family property to change the font on the web page to sans serif. So I can actually go ahead and just run this in Firefox just to show you guys what it used to look like in the previous tutorial. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to change the size of this paragraph with CSS. So we can go back to our CSS document here. And now to change the font size, you just type in font minus size and you use your colon as an equal sign and uh, then what you do is you set this equal to a value in pixels so you go 48 px for pixels and that makes your font size 48 pixels which is extremely big you're probably never going to make a paragraph that big on a web page but just so that you guys notice the difference small normal default paragraph huge big as paragraph so uh, that's how to change the font size in CSS and uh, you can also change if you want the font to be bold or normal and by default it's normal but if you want to use CSS to make your font bold then you use font minus weight and I'm actually spelling that wrong there we go font weight and there's a few different values that you can actually set this at to have it like somewhere between normal and bold. But you, you're never going to go to a website or find a document where you, some guy set his boldness of his paragraph to be half bold. You're always going to have normal and then bold. So you can just set this to bold and you're most of the time going to get the look that you're going for. So let's go ahead and refresh Firefox and there we go now we have a really big bold paragraph and uh, one more thing that I want to show you guys is also how to italicize your text using CSS and you can do this by setting the font style property so font minus style and by default obviously your text is normal as you've seen and if you want it to be italic then you just change font style to italic and put a semicolon there and save that and when you go to Firefox and refresh you'll get a slightly italicized uh, paragraph so there we go that's how to change a few different font properties in your CSS and most of you guys are probably wondering, well, if you can use CSS to change your um, text to italics or to bold, then why did I show you guys the HTML strong tag and emphasis tag? Because you guys remember that we did the strong and uh, we also did the emphasis tag like that. and. Uh, that's just because we hadn't learned CSS yet and that's also because the strong and the emphasis tag are probably going to be depreciated from CSS or HTML in the future one day because we can just use CSS to style our, our text. And uh, one last thing I want to show you guys also is using CSS, if you're really lazy, you can actually set the font family the font size and the font weight all using one property and that is the font property so if you just type in font normal like that 
you can set this equal to if you want your text to be bold set it to bold then you change the size which would be let's make it a little bit smaller this time it'll be like 26 pixels and then you can set the uh, the uh, font family which would be sans serif and it has to be in this order you can't match the order around and put like 26 pixels at the front and then bold in the middle it's not going to work so let's go ahead and just refresh this and as you can see we now have a size 26 paragraph that is bold and the font family is still sans serif and uh, if you guys don't want your text bold then you can always just leave the bold out and just set it to 26 pixels sans serif and you'll still have a normal 26 pixels sans serif paragraph so that's pretty cool that's how to use yeah css just to change the, the look of your text on your web page so that was just actually just a quick handy tutorial i hope you guys found this helpful and in the next couple of tutorials i'm probably going to show you guys how to use the css uh, box model so get excited for that and i will see you guys in the next tutorial i would appreciate it a lot if you guys really hit that subscribe button and also don't be afraid to comment like or share my videos it's really going to help my channel grow so thanks very much and I'll see you guys next time.